Hi guys, um, today we're going to look at the different things that you guys can do to maintain the electrics on your guitar. Um, now it's not as scary as it sounds, we're not looking at soldering anything here. No, nope, This is all just kind of cleaning and maintenance really as opposed to... Yeah, that. and what you'll hear is, or what you can hear, is crackly pops basically. Right, okay. Okay. Um, so when you roll down your volume or your tone, yeah. okay, at some point, or maybe sometimes all the way around, when okay. you go from 10 to 0, you'll have, you'll just hear interference and okay. crackles. Okay? okay, fair enough. So the point of maintaining your electrics, yeah. okay, just cleaning them up, is to get rid of any dust and debris that's found its way into the pot. Right, okay, okay? Fair, enough. Um, fair enough. We use a little bit of switch cleaner, okay, okay? Um, and it's, you can use it quite liberally. Okay. It's not going to It's not harmful to the finish. Just sure. Off gas. Have you got any switch cleaner that we can? We've got some here. Oh, fantastic! So Look it's at that. Server soul switch yep. cleaner, which uh, we get from Maplin. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So and it's about a that. fiver, and this at home would last a long time. Okay. Sure. But I think as you know, similar to you know the majority of these maintenance yep. points, right? Um, you can do this nearly every time you clean the guitar, okay. restring the guitar if you want. Um, on some other guitars it's a little easier, maybe. Okay. like on the Les Paul which we'll show later. Perfect. Um, but regularly cleaning them will stop them building up with okay. that dust and Fair dirt, enough. Fair okay? enough. so you won't suffer from crackly pots. Sure, sure. Okay. And, as, and as, a, as a brief um, aside, it's worth no noting that having some of this is, is very useful because it it, that can happen on amps as well. So if you true, absolutely, yeah, and absolutely. you can just take the knob off and squirt it on the front. Yeah, yeah. Give it a swizz round, and it's fine. So, uh, absolutely, and you get that a lot in, in especially older amps that, that haven't necessarily yeah. been looked after as well. But yeah, and also you know, okay, the the plate holds all of these electrics. Okay, yeah. and this is and specifically on a on a strap on a strap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean on the telly as well, you've got it on the control plate. Yeah, sure. Okay, which you can just quite easily lift off. Sure. Um, so. Not much dust would get in there, but you'll be surprised. You'll yeah. probably see underneath here. Yeah, on absolutely. Dan's guitar, quite a bit of dust in there. Absolutely. Well, if, if the rest of it was anything to go by, then I'm sure there's plenty in there as well. Yep. So, um, but I guess also it's worth noting that just on the edge of the scratch plate where people might hide some plectrums, not hide some yep. plectrums, but store some plectrums on the edge of the That's scratch right. plate. This particular one has got a very um, tightly fitting scratch plate, so it might not be too bad in there. But sure. um, Well, I've, I have found on numerous occasions, plectrums in there. Really? Yeah, from where people put them here and they slowly find a way. I mean, this is not going to make you a crackly pot. No, but, but if but if a plectrum Stuff can, is going in there. Sure, if a okay. plectrum can get in, then dirt can definitely get in. Yeah, now we will look at the ES style guitars, 335s, 339s, yeah. with an F hole. Okay. And dust and debris will get in there too. Of course, so they suffer from crackly pots just as much. How you go about cleaning them is exactly the same way as you do this. Okay, fair enough. Okay. I think it's interesting to note, uh, like briefly, with the with the, the reason that everything is on the control plate like this is, is a lot of it is as well as being a design feature is, is manufacturing as well, isn't it? Because they're able to just make the make load the, board, the plate, load the plate up exactly, plonk it in, bolt yep. it together, and and it's you know I don't want to make it sound like a sort of you know a, a, a kit project, but 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 essentially Fender guitars that's essentially what they are in in, in many absolutely. ways. Absolutely. Yeah, and with the bolt on neck. Yes, absolutely. So build your and own. the scratch plate here, yeah. But um. Great. So should we get in there? I think we should get in there. Yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, let's get the scratch plate off. So um, when you're taking your plate off, um, eight or eleven holes generally. Um, yep. Be careful to sort of leave the screws either side of the, the picks, pick uh, pickups in there, and also the. Yeah, and I'm like also there. using like a precision screwdriver. Okay. Okay. From a, a guitar tech screwdriver set that we get out of Stu Mac again. Okay. Um, mm. I wouldn't really recommend using a drill. It is quicker, uh, but if you fall out of those screws, you're going to damage the, uh, sure. the finish on your guitar. Absolutely. And if you screw them back up with a power drill, Absolutely, you can gonna... easily crack the scratch plate, particularly on these types of guitars. Absolutely, and you're going to, uh, you know, and minimum, you will... <laughs> you're going to shear the wood out, aren't you? So, yeah, So you're going to make the holes kind of loose and, and the screws coming out. Okay, before I turn this around, yep. so I can show you inside there, uh, we have to be aware that there's a live cable from the jack, okay, as well as a ground from the jack, uh -huh. and also the claw is earthing the bridge. Okay. okay. So those three wires are soldered to the tone or volume, Sure. and they should have a bit of play on them. Okay. okay. So you should be able to lift this up. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So you don't want to, when you're taking yours off, you don't want to just 
rip it out and no because you will you will take those either the hot or the grounds off okay okay perfect so let's open this up so if we if we can turn this around a little bit just to get get a slightly better look at it for you guys or even we were going to go the other way weren't we so let's go around this way okay okay another little thing to make note of this is a 22 fret board so it's got a little overhang here right yes so you have to sort of pull it from underneath. There. Yeah, I see. Okay. Perfect. Now, I can't really take the plate much higher than this. Okay. Because of the earth wires. And you can see the hot and the, yep, the earth going in into the jack socket Yeah, so there's the two going into the jack. But what's quite convenient with these as well is that you can, you should just be able to rest it in there. Okay. Oh, look at that technique. That's lovely. So these are our pots. Yep. Okay, your volume pot, tone and tone. Yeah, perfect. And your switch there. Forgive my appalling focusing, but yeah, you can all see it all in there. And what's this one here? This one that's, that's sort of down this is, the body? This is an additional ground. Okay. Okay, you've got a ground from your bridge claw there and then a further ground there. Okay. It looks like something off a uh, sort of lunar lander there. It does there, a bit, it? yeah. <laughs> so this is, well, wait, let's talk about that quickly. Okay. okay. So this is just some copper shielding. Yeah. This is to reduce RF. Okay. okay. So if your guitar was quite noisy or hummy. And that's, that's uh, radio frequencies? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. This, this will just quieten the guitar. Okay. Now, strats sort of predominantly are a little bit noisy because they're single coils. Sure. Okay. Um, the copper shielding will reduce a bit of that. Okay, There's also perfect. shielding on the back of the plate. Perfect. And, and just, for you, just for you guys that don't know, obviously I don't want to assume that everybody does know, the single coil pickups are those sort of, the pickups just here, you, a humbucker being Two coils. Two coils. What, what kind of looks like sort of two pickups in one, I guess, to the Yeah, and you have range. a larger plate on the back. Okay, perfect. Fantastic. Okay, brilliant. So, so talk me through what, what kind of thing we're going to be doing here. So what, what you can clean and what you can easily do at home. Well, what you need to do is get the... I can show you on this tone. Okay, let's that? go in close. You need to get the nozzle right in the pot. Okay, okay yeah. And you need to give it a squirt. Okay, okay perfect, yeah. We'll do that on this one as well and on the volume now do you have to be careful with how much you're using or no you can be fairly liberal and okay. it, it shouldn't harm the finish too it just off gases but what I'm also doing I'll try to show you it's just giving the uh, the pots a turn a bit of a work so basically the uh, switch cleaner yeah contact cleaner is just cleaning the sliders in there okay fantastic okay that's great Okay, if the switch is is really bad, yep. you can squirt the switch, and it will just might just clean up the contacts there. But it's usually the pots that are a problem. Okay. Okay. So you're um, just sort of turning turning the switch. I'll just get what you're doing on that side. So yeah, just sort of backwards and forwards in the same way that you would with the pots. That's right. Fantastic. With that done, we yep. can just plate goes back on. Push that down. It should fit. Fantastic. Made for it, you could say. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, brilliant. And is there anything else that you would look to sort of easily be able to do at home? Or is that that's the kind of that would expected be, level? Absolutely. I okay. mean, the, the next level would be repairing solder joints. Sure. Okay, okay. or where maybe your contact with your ground or your Fair live enough. output has stopped. But then you wouldn't have... The electrics working so it would put it into sure. a repair situation okay fair enough okay. i see i see but um if your guitar isn't working yeah and it were yeah um it's worth cleaning the pots out okay sometimes occasionally you know a, a big bit of dirt or grime has got in there and it's okay. just at any point it's not contacting okay, okay fair enough so in those occasions you know it'd be worth in this situation just cleaning that out to okay. double check okay, okay? um and you never know, it might just clean it up and, and okay. it does work. We have had that in the past where you'd be surprised, it, it's just the dirt. It's pots. just the dirt. Okay, fair okay. enough. Regular maintenance of that yeah. would stop that from happening. Fair enough. Okay, you know? okay. So um, beyond that, you, you mentioned the ground and the ground coming off. I know that I've, in the past I've had it where, where the ground has become disconnected. Sure. Um, and you get sort of no, no, very weak or almost no signal at times coming yeah, out. Or, it just buzzes a lot. Yeah. 
Uh, or you just notice them buzz. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, so so for you guys at home, I mean, if any, anything like that is happening, it's probably not too big a job. It's not like you've kind of broken everything and, and, and the world's come to an end. It's, it's probably just a loose connection, something, a, a soldering joint has failed, yeah. something like that, would you say? Yeah, and if it's if it's uh, shown itself or you're able to hear it as an earth problem... Yeah, which is the buzz. Then you could look, yeah, then you could just look towards all of the black wires. Okay, the black and you may wires. find a black wire on a claw or a black wire to the volume pot just has just come come off. Okay. okay, okay. And if, you know, if you're familiar with a soldering iron, to reheat a solder joint can just be as simple as that. Sure, and it's just fixed. 30 second job. But often with, uh, on the repair side, if, you know, moving up, it would be a question of uh, working that puzzle out. Right, okay. So following the schematic and seeing where the break in the... Sure. In, in so the I guess flows. for that thing, if you're not fully confident with that, take it to a tech, it's not a big Absolutely. job, but, but, but get sort of professional help. Yeah, some things would be covered within a setup. Okay, okay, fair you enough. Know, yep, if it's sure. just reheating a solder joint because the lives come off, then that's not really a, an no, electric repair. No, it's 30 seconds, absolutely. Exactly, exactly. Absolutely. Perfect. But pretty straightforward, and it will prolong the life of those pots. Fantastic, absolutely. So that concludes the uh, sort of easy electrical maintenance, I would say. On, on the Fender style. On the Fender style. So what we're going to what we're going to do next is have a look at the, the Gibson style with the, with the kind of four two-tone, two-volume right. pot. Um, so yeah, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.